Now, you should have already watched the video uh, of the additive color theory of light. And the additive color theory of light referred to um, to actual light and the way um, light or the primary colors of light um, create other different colors and how using the additive uh, color theory of light we're able to create white light. However, the subtractive color theory of light pretty much works almost opposite. However, when dealing with the subtractive color theory of light, we are really um, referring to pigments, right? Pigments um, and the, the different colors that are actually absorbed or reflected right now what are, what are we referring to when we're talking about pigments really pigment is 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 really the is a powdered um that's actually used uh for color substances right so pretty much really what what color are you seeing right that's a pigment right so you think of a paint that pigment might be red right so why is it that you're seeing red really that's really in essence what we're going to look at with this video so as we've mentioned, this is the subtractive color theory of light. And if you look at here, these circles right, of light um, that I'm showing you, where we're, we're dealing with pigments and dyes and whatnot, paints, we're talking about um, pretty much using colors that are opposite. So now, if we look at the colors, the primary colors are as follows. Right? So what we have here is the following. So we've got yellow is a primary color when with regards to the subtractive color theory of light, right? We've got magenta being another primary color. And lastly, we've got cyan being the, um, the third primary color with regards to um, the subtractive color theory of light. So now, according to the subtractive color right, right, theory of light, really the colors that you actually see in an object really depends on the wavelengths that are actually being deflected or reflected, should I say, or absorbed. Right? So, in other words, what we're having here is the different colors um, that, that actually absorb the different colors of wavelengths. Right? So we've got the colors that are absorbed are what we call being subtracted, right? So the colors, right, that, that some kind of pigment absorbs is being subtracted, right, from the reflected light that is actually seen by the eye, right? So if we look at something that is a, is a black object, right, um, all colors, are actually reflected, right? Um, oh, sorry, all colors are actually absorbed, right? So if we look at every color of the rainbow, something that is black, right? Every bit of light that is shining on this black object, right? Like, like I'm looking here and now, my mouse that I'm using on my computer is a black mouse. So what it's doing is it's it's absorbing all the different colors of the wavelength, right? So we are unable to see. Right, so we've got magenta. We could have, you know, we could have uh, yellow. We could have cyan. We can have blue. We can have red wavelengths that are hitting this black mouse, and they're all being absorbed, while something that is considered white is reflecting all these different colors. Right, the additive color theory of light. Right. So when we're looking at something that is red, right. So let's say let's say I'm looking at something that is is red. So I'm going to just kind of circle something in red and the reason why let's say let's say you know and this doesn't i guess apply, really apply um with the image that you're seeing but it, imagine if you had a red image right you, you you took a red pen and you drew a circle as i did here on the screen right so that red um that you're actually seeing is actually absorbing every color of the rainbow however the only thing that it's giving off is a red wavelength, right? It's giving off a red wavelength, so that is the, the reason why you're able to see the red color. So whatever color an object is giving off, 
that is the wavelength that it's actually giving off, right? So let's say here we've got now uh, a couple of colors here, right? So, you know, how subtractive colors reflect light now, we're, we're, we're going to look at three different wavelengths that are actually going to hit these three prime, um, primary subtractive color colors, right? So here we're going to have the red wavelength hitting all of these objects, right? So we're going to have of, of the uh, three um, secondary colors for with, with regard to the subtractive color theory, or we can look at them as primary colors for the uh, um, if we're with we're talking with regards to the um, the additive color theory. So we're going to have red. We're going to have blue wavelengths hitting. And finally, we're going to have green wavelength right? hitting. So if we're looking at the, the, the circles, right, what is allowing us to make the cyan? Right? So what's allowing us to make the cyan color? Right? So if we look at this, uh, sorry, uh, the magenta color. If we're looking at these colors, right, what's make, allowing us to make the magenta according to the additive color theory? Red and blue. So what's going to happen is red is going to get reflected. The other wavelength that's going to get reflected is going to be the blue. So together, the red and blue is what's going to give us that image of the magenta color, while the green and any other wavelength would actually get absorbed by this magenta uh, object. So let's look at now this yellow object. So we're going to have these same three primary colors according to the additive theory, right? Because additive theory is referring to colors of light. So we've got light shining on this pigment, right? This pigment is yellow. This pigment, when we're talking about pigments, as we said, right? primary colors are different to the additive, right, to the light. So what's going to happen is, let's look at the yellow. What allowed us to create this yellow? Green and red. So if you guessed that red would get reflected, right, because that's what's going to allow us to see it, as well as green. So it's not just red, because if it was red, that was the only one that was, we would see only red. But the fact that this object is yellow means that red and green are the wavelengths that actually get reflected by this object. And lastly, let's look at the cyan. And in order to have made the cyan, according to the additive color theory, we had to mix green with blue. So if you guessed that green is going to get reflected, as well as blue, then you're correct. And so that's the reason why we're able to see the cyan. So the red gets absorbed, right? The red gets absorbed. So the red is what's being subtracted, right, from the reflected light that's actually seen by the eye. And that is pretty much the subtractive color theory of light.